What's happening, man? We back, y'all. Y'all know how we do it. Follow the drill. <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? Too short. Too tall. In the building. In the flesh. Right back on the Red Sea. Yeah. Well, not man. right back, you know. This is where we stay. Y'all coming right back. Yeah, y'all back to the Red back, Sea. This is where you know we be. be. Welcome. This is where we be. How y'all feeling? Uh -uh. We feeling good. We feeling good. I know I'm feeling good. Especially after yesterday. Weather's better. Man. You know what I mean? Weather out of nowhere. Well, we man. had trampoline. Bro, what is on this? The, we had trampolines on the power lines. <laughs> Had the trampolines on the power line. Bro, what? I turned around this morning at the stop sign. First, I say, now who just dropped their trampoline right here nah. on the side? Nah, first thing <laughs> I said was, boy, it was looking like the Wizard of Oz <laughs> outside. <laughs> <laughs> it was looking like the Wizard of Oz out there, E. Hey, the, the trampoline on the power line? What? Looking like the Goodness. Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Well, we back, brick road. We back, though, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, my girl Caitlyn uh struggling. That's what they said. Like she frustrated out there, you know. Did you get to watch? But, nah, I ain't. I ain't get to watch bro, the game. What y'all like? It's I, that's what I'm take saying. Take some time. They Keep think. supporting her. She gonna be fine. Like you saw the vet came in and hit thirty. Flash thirty. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a transition. It's gonna be she fine. coming from college to the pros. To the pro. And you got to think, I think women's college basketball versus like probably men's college basketball, that jump. Is, is a bigger? Or, yeah, I, I'm saying like the level of play like between like your stars yeah. and just like some of the other starters on the team. There's a gap. There's a big gap. There's a gap. There's a big gap. I think there's a big gap. So there's going to be. She's just going to have to get adjusted to facing people as athletic or That's more it. athletic than her that are on the court everywhere. But, you know, everybody want it right now. Just keep right supporting her. She's going to be fine, man. She's yeah. going to be fine. She got a good team. I want to say uh, she was frustrated. Her teammate came at halftime. I think she was rookie of the year, maybe last year. And we're just trying to tell her, like, hey, it's going to be okay. You know what I mean? Oh, the rookie, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, the girl from last year. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, she's going to be fine. I see they got, they flexed Caitlin Clark and Reese first game against each other from NBA TV to ESPN, I believe, for June 1st. Mm. So they already flexing WNBA games. So they're trying to, they're trying to keep that. Keep that storyline going. Eric, that's, that's what, what they, that's what they try to do. That's what it's about. It's about storylines. Yeah, what we gonna do when we see each other in the pros, now? Nah? It's about storylines. That's what it's about. Keep them going. Keep the little villain yeah. and all that stuff going. Keep it going. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I still need to catch a game though. I ain't caught one yet. Hey, they say uh Golden State got a team. Getting an expansion team, WBA. And, and one in uh, Toronto. Okay, Toronto. And guess who on the list? Who? Austin. Austin? Okay. Austin Austin is on the list to get a WNBA team. They're trying to get a team. That's what we need. Austin expansion. trying to get a WNBA Yeah. More roster spots. Yeah. There's a lot of girls, a lot of females that can play the game. Yeah, man. But we got to go overseas. Let's bring it back here. Yeah, why, why is it? Yeah, let's keep our talent here. Why isn't it? I here? don't know. Yeah. The money. The money. That's all it is. They get paid way more over there. Yeah, I know, but it's like if they're getting paid more over there, why can't they do it here? It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. You can get a career over there, but Come we can't have a career here. Come on now. So we just got to do better with the storylines. We got to do better with the marketing for the women's game. It's coming. Yeah, it is. It's, it's already feel, happening. Yeah. You saw ESPN flex the game for a reason. I seen, uh, I don't know what game it was, but they had, you know how they do the Jumbotron and they do different cam things in the audience. They had a bandwagon cam just showing all the people in the stands like with Caitlin Clark's jersey on oh, from Iowa. Okay. And they was proud. They was like, yup. Okay. <laughs> See, Rapping. Caitlin, that's, that's what they need. Wagon, God dang. Hey, that's what they need. But guess what? When she had nine points. Right. Y'all still support when she had nine points. 
Well, I'm saying she had 9.7 rebounds, 6 assists, and something else. And it was like, she's struggling. No. I said, God dang, 6 rebounds, she 7 assists. Struggle. No, I, I think she's going to be fine, bro. Yeah. I think she's going to be fine. She's going to be all right. right. She's going to be, she gonna be good. Did y'all, uh, what's going on with T and T, with Shaq and them? They done? With Shaq, mean? Charles, and all of them, something going on where they not going to be on NBA, they not doing the games no more or something? Since I when? figured you would know. I think something they going ain't on. They nothing? Why? Because they been having guest people on there? No, man. I think something going on, They bro. beefing? No. Nah. Who beefing? Something going on. I saw some kind of farewell or something. How they going to take them off the NBA, John? I ain't see it. I still seen, uh, nah, it was just Kenny up there, huh? Something going on, bro. I think I just seen Kenny. It was Vince Carter. TNT losing NBA, not expected to affect new venue sports venture. So is this TNT losing it? Yeah, but Shaq and all them work for, they working for TNT. Sure, you know what's going to happen? Man. Switch out the contract. Wherever we go. They saying, they saying Charles, Charles is saying if TNT loses the NBA, that he going to be a free agent. I think it's part of his deal or something. So they, it, it's going to break up. It's going to break them up, man. Nah, they just going to go to the new station. If he going to be a free agent. Man, I don't know if Ernie and all them going to go to the new joint. What else they going to do? They can't stay on TNT. Yeah, they, they, they might not want to work for the new company. They might not want to work for the new company, Eric. They might NBA. not want to. They might not want to work for the new company. Who you think it gonna be? I don't know. ESPN. Hold on, man. It can't be TBS. I don't know. Inside the NBA is over. NBC gets NBA rights. NBC? I think, I guess. Uh, you, wrong, you got NBC? I don't even think I got NBC. It's saying so Ernie Johnson will stay at Turner. So, so Turner Sports, Ernie reportedly stay at TNT Sports without NBA. See what I'm saying? They gonna break up the game. So Ernie gonna stay with TNT, but to but do something T else. TNT Sports. What <laughs> other sports is on TNT? Wrestling. Eric, that's all I know. <laughs> I don't know any. I don't know any other sports. Anything that else? On TNT other than NBA. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully they don't break up. But Man. if they do. Might be the hey. end of Charles and Shaq now, man. Hey, they had a good run. Man, I seen a funny clip. They was throwing uh, one of the funniest, funniest clips that Charles and Shaq had on the show. And I guess it was a game and uh, what's the light skin dude name? All the dunks. Blake Griffin. Yeah. I guess they had called the police after a game or something. Blake and them, Austin Rivers, called the LAPD because Chris Paul, I guess, was trying to run up in the locker room and beat him up. So Charles, so Charles and Shaq was having a blast with it. No, they did not. They did not really call. They said 911. <laughs> I'm seven foot, 250 pounds. Hey, 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 Chris hey. Paul is trying to come in. Hey, hey, hey. That's not real. <laughs> yes, it is. That's not real. That's not real. They <laughs> they call the LAPD. Bro, you should have seen Shaq. You know Shaq's stupid. What? Yeah, call the LAPD, man. Them boys was rolling. They was like, I wish a mother. Nah, bro. <laughs> what? Nah, we're gonna get to the real. We're gonna get to a real conversation because that right there ain't even real. All right. It's something I'm just thinking about now, actually. Uh, if you believe that 
you have a skill. Do you just like a, you have a skill that you're really gifted at? Mm -hmm. Do you choose to take the good skill that you have and just keep winging it and try and just do what you know? Or over time, do you take that skill and you're like, man, this can be something big for me. And you actually try to develop that skill, invest in that skill, take more time building that skill up. Or do you just wing it with that skill? That oh, you can wing it for as long as you want. It's only going to take you so far. You know what I mean? Okay. For instance, right? Let's say I'm 10 years old. I'm the coldest on the field. When I get to high school, I might still be the coldest on the field, right? Most of the but, time, that ain't even the case. Yeah, right, right, right. So now when I go to college, I think that, and I ain't put in no work, I ain't did nothing. Now I go to college, I got a scholarship. I go to college, I'm still thinking that that raw ability, raw talent is gonna work, but you're gonna find out that it's not because you ain't been working on your craft, you ain't been getting faster, stronger, you ain't been in the playbook, you know what I mean? So you ain't did nothing to enhance your skills. You just relying on them same skills that you had from, what, when, 20 whatever. years ago? So it don't matter. Basically, you feel like, you feel like if you have a talent, you need to be in the lab. If you don't have the you talent, need you still there. need to be in the lab. But everybody need to be in the lab. Everybody needs to be in the lab. And, Regardless and, if you got it or if you don't got it. All right, no, I agree even more so for the ones that got it. Even more, and I, I agree with that. I agree that even the ones that have the skill set need to be in it because it is going to be just a sad day <laughs> when you realize all that natural ability and you neglect and putting in that work over time. There are athletes out there, okay, that have that talent that are working like they the sorriest dude in the room. We got them. And that's what I'm saying. So then now, now when you go to match up against them, yeah. they gonna outperform you. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's just because but that goes, they didn't got the reps in. They done put in the time. They didn't got the reps in. And that's all it is, reps, being consistent. I, I made a tweet yesterday to kind of take take back to this, to put your money where your mouth is. I seen it. And it was in regards to this because I say put your money where your mouth is because you think that such and such, it might probably your child got all this talent, right? They got this talent. We don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Okay. Yeah. yeah if yeah. you believe that they have all the talent, then invest in them. Don't think that they got all this talent and you just want to continue to wing it or they already got your genetics. You didn't done your part. You don't have to continue to try to be the coach and the skill guy just so you can say, ain't nobody did, did it but you. I did That's it. your daughter. I did it. That's your son. You did do it. You literally did it. <laughs> you literally did it. Pass them on to the professionals. Yeah. Let yeah. the professionals be professionals. And that, it, that is in regards to a lot of things. I'm talk, I was talking to one of my players the other day about they're managing their money and their investments. Mm -hmm. It's like, man, I want to, I'm like, you a pro ball player. Get you some professionals that'll that handle know. the money. Not saying you don't need to be in the know. Be in the know. Know what's going on with your dollars. Okay? But let your pros do be pros. What they do. Let yeah, let them be pros. Do. Let them be pros. Do what they do. But put your money where your mouth is. All of this talking about your kids or your little nephew and all of that. Oh, you believe in them? Put Come the on. money up. Come on. Put your money where your mouth is. Because I can't tell you how many times we see it. We see it all the time. Kid come in for an assessment about to train. We need to train. We need to do this. Kids athletic. Guess what? Next thing you know, they start getting offers. They don't want to oh, train them more. Because they got it. They don't want to train them more. But it's okay. Like, once you get those offers, that's just the beginning. We want to get in and we want to play. We want to play at a high level. We want to play at a high level. We want an opportunity to play. Put your money where your mouth is if you really believe, okay? If you don't believe, 
You're going to keep acting like you're acting, okay? Hey, scared money don't make money. We say that all the time. Scared money don't make money. Anything that you want to grow, you got to invest in it. You got to, man. It's just, right? a, it's just a, we talk about it all the time. It's just a disservice to the kid. It is. You know what I mean? Like. And then we scrambling at the last minute. And we scrambling. And that's the, that's the other part. That's my part. Once we get to scrambling, then we come to the professionals. Because we got a big old fire that we got to put out. Right. And now we got to work a miracle. But that's why that's why we are who we are. Yeah, we can we that's, can we can't work miracles, but we can do a little something. That's why we are. But y'all know the thing is, they know that the professionals can do it. So why wait for the last minute? We got a month before camp. My son's 40 is down. I don't know why the offer stopped coming in. Two weeks before camp, just trying to work on some 40 things. To me, when you start doing that, you're looking for somebody to blame. For me. Obviously, yeah, we can take, take the money, we can do all that stuff, but you're looking for somebody to blame when you're waiting last minute knowing that they're not ready, and then you're trying to... But if you think that we can... Why and not I bring say, And us? I say we as in whatever professional. Yeah, right? not just us. Yeah, yeah. not just us. But if you think that someone can get your athlete to a certain point within a month, why not bring them, like you was about to say, why not bring them six months before, a year before, two years before? Just think about that. What we doing in a month compared to what we could have did in two years, a yeah. year. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. I don't they just know want either. that microwave. It's microwavable. This ain't microwavable over here. I trained in Linda today. And she said, what'd it take me? About three years? Man, it take time, bro. <laughs> but they don't, they, they but you, you we live in that. That's what ha information is immediate. Like there is just so much right now. We live in a new time where everything is now. Like, think about how you act when you go to search for something on Google and you're and your little loading indicator is going slow. slow. You're like, what the fuck's going on? Something wrong with the Wi-Fi. You turn the Wi-Fi off, you back on 5G, 6G. You trying to figure it out. 5G ain't work, you put the Wi-Fi back on. Something wrong with the Wi-Fi? You didn't ask that about 30 seconds in. It ain't even loaded yet. It's just, we just have this sense of like, now. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I blame the parents. The parents. Like y'all like talked about yesterday, it started at it home. It starts at home. It started at home. So imagine with the kid hearing at home from the parents and then they seeing. Because I'm going to tell, tell you this. This is the one thing that kind of pissed me off. We here at the assessment sometimes, or we in sessions, I get the sense that the parents don't even believe in the kids sometimes. This on the other side. Mm -hmm. Parents don't believe in the kids, mm -hmm. so it's like, you keep saying, if you can't do this, you can't do this, we ain't gonna do it. I'm like, give them time. That's that now. <laughs> give the kids time to develop. They, they feel like you don't even believe, believe. in them. Yep. So how are they gonna believe that in confidence themselves? Is, that confidence is already shook. They listening to you every day at the house tell them how terrible they are. You give can't them, do this. Give them You're time. slow. Well, it, and that's the, and that's the other thing. If they can't do it, then bring them to the professionals. Give them time, man. It go both both ways. Like I get, we get that side of the like, we are gonna do it. We start training, then it's like, well, they ain't, they ain't. I'm like, man, listen, look, I know you just came off those ducats, all right? I understand that, but this is a process. Yeah. And I had to tell, I had to tell a parent the other day, like they were asking, it's like, man, when. When we gonna get to get out on the, I said, wait. I said, we have a process. Mm -hmm. We talking about chill. When, when I say young, some of these kids, you talking about six, seven years old. I'm like, we have a process. You don't just walk in here in the facility. Now we out on the field, we doing all this footwork, trying to make highlights. I don't give a damn about no highlights, okay? Most of the time, we don't do enough recording and posting because we actually putting in work session after session, yeah. client after client. We ain't just here for one session to do a video op. 
trying to do uh, yeah, I, content. Yeah, we ain't doing content. Most of the time when we record anyways is is to show the athlete, give the athletes a visual of what they doing right, what they doing wrong, so we can fix. Yeah, it ain't about doing. that for us. But we do have, you know, I've had a few parents come up and ask like, can we take some videos so we can post? It's a lot of times. That's just the day even, and age. I don't even really like it. A lot of times, especially when the parents catch some videos that you don't know about. Oh yeah, that's that. Y'all posting ugly stuff. the videos. I'm like, bro, th this wasn't even a good rep. They're working. You putting out a product that's not ready for social to me. Like, if but everybody else doing it, so we got to do it. That well, we got to show. What no. It is. Let me tell you something. If you ain't playing no reps on varsity, all the little posting on it don't, it don't matter. even matter. You ain't got no like, varsity reps. Like, you want to show yourself doing a pass rush on the field? It don't mean nothing until when they do that pass rush actually in a game. That's the day and age, man. Got to show that you're working out, I guess. It, it, uh, show that you're working out, e. Show that you're working out when them pads get on. Show that you're working out when fall hits. Show that you're right. working out when track season hit. Right. That's all. I'm, I, that's what I'm saying. That's when you should show that you're working out. I don't know. You know. Not just for social, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's... But I don't know, man. It's, it's constant. That's it's, where we're getting the scallies from. We're getting the scallies from the social. You know what I mean? Really, I don't know where we're getting the scallies from, to be honest. You know? I see scholarships just being handed out. Yeah, this you is get a scholarship. You get a you get an offer. You get an offer. You get an offer. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When I ain't did nothing. When I found out that some of these coaches or, or I mean some of these parents have built a relationship to where they pay to get a ver like an offer publicly just to get an offer but it's not re like it's not a real offer but I, they how allow crazy. you to post how crazy that you're is getting that? an offer it, how would you even feel i could never how, I, I know <laughs> i know a you fraud. can never what like how would that make you feel a like a fraud a fraud i would feel like a fraud just who you stunned for Cause you just trying to stunt. You just trying to. I don't know. I, I wouldn't even do that to my kid though. Like, Bro, that's the that's the first start thing. With the parents. <laughs> I wouldn't they even the do that to my. Money up. I wouldn't even do that to my kid. They putting the money up, e. Like, I'm gonna pay a couple. How much you think it is? A couple thousand. I ain't gonna. Hey, ain't gonna lie. <laughs> uh, what? I, hey, I, I don't know. <laughs> no names, <laughs> but I've heard I've heard anywhere between thirty five hundred. Oh no, <laughs> bro! <laughs> I've heard thirty five hundred for a fake. To just so I can bit. tweet. Now I've seen, and here's why I'm saying it's just so different, bro, and, and why the social media thing is crazy. I've seen athletes who have lied and said they got an offer from a school and then all of a sudden they start getting real offers. You saw, you know. You I've know. seen it. I, I seen a buddy on a podcast talk about it. He said he had tweeted that he had got an offer from, I don't know what school it was. And then after he tweeted that, he, he started, started getting, getting other offers. He, he was started decent. getting. <laughs> Do you know, know if he was decent? I don't know if he was decent. Or I not. saw. I saw it on on a podcast line one time about the offer. You remember this dude? He was a rapper. <laughs> he was talking about. Ah, uh, you talking about Boogie? <laughs> Talk about that was uh, offering him like a million. <laughs> Boy, hey, let me tell you something about the podcast. The podcast be funny, boy. Nah, but yeah, that's social media for you, man. Nah, it's crazy. It's um, it's just the culture, man. It's it's unfortunate because 
I know one of our parents mentioned something about work ethic is being devalued. And Absolutely. I get, I understand that talent and all that stuff gets, in, you know, put into the process. Talent, tape, size, all of that. But work ethic has lost some of its value. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I just... I don't know. It, it starts at the top. Who's ever, whoever's at the top is the reason you start to see things being devalued, um, seeing things microwaved in a sense. Um, and it's parents. Coaches. And, and co yeah, co because you see, you see coaches say things like, we want, our, we want to see you at the front of the class. We want, yeah, I yeah, want to yeah, make sure yeah, your yeah. attendance, your GPA, and then when you see some of the offers and some of the character of some of these kids, and they you like, match up. all this stuff that you said, but then I, I'm watching you offer this kid, and it's publicly known that this kid is right. a complete right. jerk and everything else. No, not a good high character kid, constantly in trouble. And I'm not talking about just talking in class. Right. I'm talking yeah, real true. stuff. I'm talking stuff that you get caught doing out in real life. You're going to jail yeah, for. Right. You offering these kids. So I, I don't know. Yeah, don't we know. ain't never gonna know. We've been trying to figure it out for shit, how many years now? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so. We ain't never gonna know, man. We ain't never gonna know. But it's it's um it's camp time. Oh, yeah. Everybody trying right around to the corner. To run these 40s and do all this stuff at, at camp. Be prepared. That's, that's the biggest thing, preparation. That's, and that's really all we do here is we just prepare kids and athletes. You got to be the best. That's it. Here. That's it, man. You know, know how to set up for a 40. Yeah. Know how to run a 5-10-5. Without doing the 360, y'all know what I'm talking about. I, I, <laughs> I, I do got some too. Like, you know, I, I've been asked too before about like, like, you know, when you when we sign up, like, how soon will we see? You know, how soon? Like, you know, a lot of places they be like, oh yeah, you gonna see this? You know, what we tell them, like, I don't know. I think y'all need to commit to this for the next three months. We at a place now. <laughs> we at a place now where we didn't done it so much over and over again. Like if we rip, like this is all we do, y'all. This is all we read. We consume. All day. This is it. We don't have nothing else. So, so it's like I'm not finna sit up in here and just tell you like all this stuff that everybody else. Well, you can do this. He, he gonna get this. <clears throat> this is what we've seen in the past. Okay. And what are we talking about? Elite guys, developed guys. You know, younger kids, you're talking about elementary, you're talking about middle school, even these undeveloped high school kids, when they're coming in, it's like, look, close, put your card on file and close your eyes for at least three months. And when you open them, and just, just let it for at least three months. <laughs> then just let three months. Yes. And guess what? You ain't got to just be on 12 months out of the year, but I always come back home. I always come back home, have a real off season, have a have a process. Let us have our process with them and just trust in that. And people looking for proof. Well, where's the proof? You know, we could pull up athletes. You look at this athlete. He went from here to here. You constantly doing that, all right? But for me, the proof ain't in what we've done. The proof is what you've done right. at the house with your child. <laughs> so the proof is not. What we've done, the proof is in what hasn't been done <laughs> to this point. <laughs> to me. The proof is what yes. hasn't been done. You look at Y'all ain't catch else. that. Y'all ain't catch that. What hasn't been done. That's the proof. Y'all, you go home. When you get home, look around. That's the one to blame. 
Don't look out and say, well, what have y'all done? Look what you haven't done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't catching that okay? one. Okay? They ain't catching That's that one. That's what we are. Trust. And this, this, hey, just trust this. You ain't looking at this every day. Most Boy. of the time, your parent, the parents, you're working. You, are, you have your own profession. Here, we have hospital systems, Dale, professors. <laughs> you ain't doing what we doing yeah. all day. Let me tell you something else that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. It's just coming to me now that we even talk about it. This is no knock, but it's funny because I recognize it and it's funny. Okay. When you have a parent that come in that want to make sure you know that they know a little bit. <laughs> They start, they start trying to speak the language. You throw them words out there. Hey, you. no, hey, let me tell you something. I had a parent ask me, <laughs> hey, yeah. are y'all teaching A skip? <laughs> he wants you to know that he knows that that's a proper, that's a proper. Ain't no not, but it's just like, look, man. Uh, y'all, come on, man. Yeah, right. once you bring them to us, they, you just know, let them, just let us do what let we us do. do. Just step back. And just, for me, for me, I don't even know how you're at the point where you're on the phone with me and you don't know anything about us. If, oh, you yeah, did, that's if, crazy. if I pick up the phone and call, best believe, I didn't already done enough my research on the background of who you are, who you work with. I've looked at enough before I've actually called to talk to you. And if I'm calling, oh, I'm ready. I'm uh, You ready? Here's, here's the card. What you need? Yeah, if that's I'm it. I'm calling cuz at that point we I'm in. ready. Yeah, yeah. Now if I don't call, then bro, it's I don't know, man. I just think that too many of the parents think that they know better. You can't pay and do the job. That's just stupid. That's right, just stupid. Right, right. Why would you pay and go and do the job? You pay to let somebody else do the job. You don't pay to stress. If I pay, I'm not about to stress about what's going on. What? If once I pay, I'm back to going to make more money. What? I pay to get the yard done. I ain't even worried about I don't the yard. Even think what? About it. Yeah. The yard's done every two weeks. <laughs> do what you do. Do it, do whatever. Do what you once do. Once I pay. That's it's it. It's over. It just don't make no sense, y'all. Think about what you're doing. You don't pay and stress and try to do the work for them. Pay and go sit down. That's it. Just drop them off. Go run your errands. June 3rd, first day of camp. Six weeks to ten weeks, two times a week. Elementary, middle school, high school. All Basketball, athletes. football, don't soccer, matter. wrestling. Volleyball. Pickleball. It don't matter. All athletes. Badminton, Girls, guys. Don't matter the sport. sport. We here. Speed is speed. Yes, you know what I mean? speed, and, and it just, I don't know, getting your body to move at the fastest your body can move would just benefit you in so many other ways. Just high velocity, max effort jumps, stronger posture, yeah. form work. Understanding, knowledge, more than anything, That's the, biggest. the information that you're getting, <laughs> like just taking it all in. Like, it's, hey, hey, if you mm. want to level up this summer, go ahead. Hey, we're actually going to go ahead and put the link to hop on the schedule. So we're going to put a link on this one so that you can hop on the schedule, get your free assessment done so you can come in here. Um, and sign up for camp, man, so you can be the best you come fall. Uh -huh. Take right? your game to the next level. Take man. that thing to the next level, y'all. Holler at us, man. Hey. What will you sacrifice to be great?